get a lot of questions of people who would like to do their bookkeeping in Excel or Google Sheets. <clears throat> this is a problem because when you do that, you pretty much have to build your own accounting system and you have to particularly build your own reporting systems. Uh, and if I can put in three ands, there's nobody to test it for you. So if you make a mistake, you're not going to find it until your reports come out wrong and somebody else probably points it to you. They're also uh, just very difficult to maintain. Uh, I want to suggest an alternative to you, and that's to use Quicken. In this case, I'm using Quicken Deluxe, and I have a demo file here. You can acquire Quicken Deluxe as a subscription for about $55 per year. That's actually what you'd pay for QuickBooks if you get it through TechSoup. However, uh, it's much easier to use. It's really a cash-based system, and most really small nonprofits are on the cash-based accounting system anyway. So that makes perfect sense. So let's talk about what we've done here. I uh, started out with a uh, checking account. And that is the primary driver for most nonprofits. And what I've done is entered in uh, the dates. Let me sort this by date. One of the advantages you have. Uh, as you go through, you can see I have the name of the vendor in this particular case, it's a payment. I have a description in the memo field, a category. I've created categories much like what I use in um, QuickBooks. So I, I designed this pretty much the same way. You have income, expenses, and transfers. Uh, income, donations, interest earned, miscellaneous revenue, dues, non-government grants, program related items and expenses i've broken these down as well office expenses other expenses travel fundraising fees accounting fees contracting services and it's very easy to add one of these now these say personal because quicken is designed to be used for personal accounting it works exceptionally well for this purpose as well so and you can add accounts as you go now here's a tag and i've that's something that's unique to Quicken and QuickBooks also uses it. In QuickBooks, I would relate it to the term class, but it's a very simple way to track. So I can tag every one of these transactions, in this case with the Bill and Melinda Gates grant. You'll see how that comes into play later. Entering data is remarkably easy. You just go through and uh, pick this up, say, well, I want it to be November 6th is when I had the transaction. You could be either be at an ATM withdrawal, a deposit, uh, it could be a check, electronic funds transfer. I added debit card. I, it needed to be CRD for abbreviation because it doesn't have enough. You can see these are memorized transactions. I have it set so that every time I post, it memorizes the transaction. So that gives me a consistent uh, look, but it also means that all the data will fill in by itself. So for example, if I put in Office Max, it automatically populates all the fields, which I can change later. And obviously, in most cases, when I go to Office Max, I will not spend $1,000. So we can make it $200. And printing programs is probably not right. This could be Office Supplies. Ah! If I could type, I'd be dangerous. Uh, I'm just going to start typing OFF. For office expenses, uh, and we'll go to office supplies and software, and it's just standard administrative, so I'm going to leave this blank for now. And then I can either click on save or whatever, bang, it's done. I can also, online services, and I can connect this with my bank. So if you were a Citibank user, we would click this and it would go through and ask you to connect with your ID and password. It would then download the transactions for you. That saves a ton of time. I can have other accounts here. Now I put a savings account in. So you could have a transfer to savings, which I did here. This actually came out of the checking account. So you can move money between accounts very easily. 
And in this case, I set up an account. It's an, a loan account, and it was a loan from founder. This also went through the checkbook. And in this case, what I'm pretending is that the founder didn't want to donate the money, but he or she wanted to loan it to the organization. And so we created a loan so we could keep track of it. It's just a good way to keep track of things. So what we've talked about is how fast it is to enter data, how easy it is to see, how much we can record, and so forth. But remember what we do. Everything we do in accounting is for reporting. So let's take a look at reports. So I've created a few sample reports. We can do much more. First thing is statement of financial activity. That actually is your profit and loss statement. And I've broken this down by month for the current year. Make it a little bigger here. So you could see what your income and your expense is all the way through the month and what your overall total is. This organization is positive $2,964.45 uh, at the end of the year as of today, whenever that is. Uh, in this case, it's 11-2. So that's a, that obviously is a pretty handy report to have, but you don't have to do it by month. You could do it, none, and then it simply gives you the totals. And then you can save this either as the current name or a different one, and then it's available to you in my reports. Let's go to another report. I save reports again. Well, what if I had a fundraiser? Remember, we use tags. So in this case, I called it the 2019 Gala. We took in $5,000 in tickets, and we spent $1,000 on that printing expense. So we made $4,000 on the gala. This is using those tags. And of course, I can change the date to anything I wish if I wanted to look at the 2018 gala or I wanted to change it. Very handy to have. Again, reports, save reports. Grants are very important, also used with tags. The nice thing about grants is we've, we received $3,000 from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and we spent $532.22 for no particular reason. That means we have $2,400 left in our grant to continue spending. And oh, by the way, this makes a very nice report to send to the Bill and Melinda Gates Grant Foundation so they know how you're spending your money. Uh, oh, donations by donor. Actually, this is donations year to date. Um, I, I Once again, I broke this out by month. Let's just say none here. And so we got $3,000 from Bill and Melinda Gates. We got $500 from, that actually is me. John Q. Public gave us $100, and we received $500 in, or $5,000 tickets to the annual gala. If I were really making this a donor report, I would simply tag... Uh, only Bill and Melinda, I'm sorry, only me and John Q. Public uh, so that they showed up. The point is you can do this kind of reporting that you want to do. It is very simple, very fast, and very easy. That is, oh, I've also added a credit card. Most organizations do not have an organization credit card, but some do. And if you do, here's another chance to record that, and you can keep track of your expenses in an appropriate way. And then of course, when you pay it, it's coming out of the uh, checking account and going into the clearing, the savings account, and just recording a check that you wrote. It'll probably come through the bank. And once again, that will download automatically if you set up your bank properly. I think this is an excellent solution for small uh, nonprofits who are on the cash basis. And it allows you to put your expenses or your finances in something reasonable. You could take these to any bookkeeper. They would understand what you're doing in a heartbeat. And if you had to make any changes, they're very quick to make. Thank you for your time.